Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Peace, love, and respect. It's the one and only Mr. Garvin Benjamin. <clears throat> so it's the day before Thanksgiving. You know, they have uh, New Year's Eve, but they don't have no such thing as Thanksgiving Eve. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. But anyway, I wanted to talk to y'all today about, if y'all don't know, and a lot of people don't keep up with the news or facts, radio, China is now the richest country in the world. And you won't question how that is. Well, before we go forward, we must go, we must go back. Okay? Doing with slavery, slaves built everything for free. You know, even in Nazi Germany, you had slaves, you know, you had Jews, even in the Soviet Union at the time, you had people building stuff for free. In the United States, slaves were building everything for free. You know. After slavery ended, they created sharecropping. Okay? Where you pretty much, black people work the land for next to none, and they get paid little, pretty much very little. Sharecropping went all the way, even to some degree, even all the way until the 70s. It's crazy as it sounds. You know? And after they couldn't work, you know, these are the white supremacists I'm talking about. Not regular white people. People who own businesses and stuff. Yeah. Own factories. When they couldn't work black people for free anymore, or for next for nothing, they, they brought people from the south of the border. A lot of, you know, people from Nicaragua, El Salvador, Honduras. And they started working them for next to nothing. Within five or ten years, they began to speak up. And when they began to speak up, they took all the factories out and sent them to China. But you see, the Chinese wasn't dumb. They were paying them, you know, they, they, were, they were working for, you know, one to two dollars a day. But the Chinese government wasn't dumb. Whatever they, they created and they sent over there, they sampled it. So let's say, for example, they made a Tesla or iPhone. They sampled that and made their own and put made in China. Within a couple of years, all the factories they sent, they sent over there. China capitalized over it and built itself up. To the point now, he don't even need you no more. And I know that when they see that, that hurts, you know. And but but here's the problem: ain't nothing they could do about it. So physically wise, you know, financial wise, he already bypassed the United States, and and in the future, military military wise, he probably will, because many people were lazy, who didn't want to work their own land, they don't want to run their own factory and pay, uh, pay you next to nothing, because they were being cheap. So that's what that's how China, one of the main reasons why they became richer than the United States. Right now, the United States is number two. Japan is number three. Because many of them people who own these factories, right, didn't want to they weren't paying black people and white people. They didn't want to pay them what they're supposed to pay them. So you got people south of the border, and then you didn't want to pay them eventually with a five or ten. So that's how China became rich. And now they're the richest country in the world. Most of y'all, you see, they ain't talking about that. They ain't. But I had to explain that to y'all there. But keep doing what you're doing. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. And, you know, you're going to see me. You know, and we're definitely going to talk. Keep your head up, and I'm going to talk to y'all next one. Peace, love, and respect. One love.